They disagreed on nearly everything, but Mike Pompeo's visit to Russia brought hope for a new start between Moscow and Washington. I have the impression that the president is set for the restoration of Russian-American ties, contacts and resolving problems together that are important for both sides. For our part, we have said multiple times that we would also want to regain full ties. It was the first high-level meeting between the two superpowers since the Mueller report came out clearing Trump from collusion with Russia during the 2016 elections. The only thing both nations agreed on was the fact that they want their relationship to improve. On the Iran nuclear deal, their positions are far apart. Russia has raised concerns about U.S. military buildup in the Persian Gulf, concerns Pompeo could not dispel. The U.S. Secretary of State did not deny reports that the U.S. wants to send 120,000 troops to the region. I made clear that the United States will continue to apply pressure to the regime in Tehran until its leadership is prepared to return to the ranks of responsible nations that do not threaten their neighbors or spread instability or terror. Russia and the U.S. are also on opposite sides of the crisis in Venezuela. Pompeo urged Moscow to stop supporting Nicolas Maduro. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov replied democracy can't be implemented by force. We hear threats from both the official representatives of the U.S. administration and from Mr. Guaido, who constantly talks about his right to invite an armed intervention from abroad. This has nothing to do with democracy. Despite their first high-level meeting in months, the United States and Russia are struggling to find common ground, while no progress has been made to find solutions on crisis in Iran and Venezuela. A renewed dialogue on arms control shows that their relationship has somewhat improved. After the collapse of the Intermediate Nuclear Forces Treaty earlier this year, the superpowers now aim to start a new discussion on arms control. Because, as both Lavrov and Pompeo pointed out, if the U.S. and Russia don't get along, the world will feel it. Stepfasen, Al Jazeera, Sochi.